Hey everybody, this vlog I'm going to address a comment that was made on YouTube just now about my previous vlog where I was talking about uh, successful freelancers and what separated successful freelancers. And the guy mentioned a story about someone who talked about how they started developing sites in 2000, early 2000, 2002, using Flash, HTML, PHP, and now they can't find any work. They used to make eight to 10,000 bucks a month. Now, now they, they don't make any money. I don't know that, personal, that person's individual case. I don't know what type of PHP work they were doing, what type of web work they, they were doing, but they were complaining about how templates, the arrival of templates and the arrival of smartphones or well, the iPhone started changing the entire game, made it very difficult for him to make a living. Now, here's the thing. You have to understand as a coder, as a professional developer, you have to consider the fact that technologies will change and the demands in the marketplace will change accordingly. Now, the change, you see the major shifts every five to six, five to seven years, something like that. So now, the demand is really big time in uh, mobile application development. You see a huge rise in demand for JavaScript coders. And there's still that very strong demand for PHP app developers. Now, the PHP work that you used to do in the year 2000 or the 90s is not the type of PHP work that gets jobs these days. These days, you have to either know WordPress, Joomla, Joomla. You have to be willing to work with templates. And if you want to get into full app development, you have to learn a framework like Symfony, like Laravel, something like that. So the old days of being a PHP hacker, doing simple PHP scripts, those are pretty much gone. So you have to consider the change in the technology. Now, I was reluctant to mention these specifics because I don't want you to get caught up in the specifics. The whole key of all this is to recognize that you have to be nimble as a developer. You have to look at the trends, where it's going. So right now, it is JS, right? It is JS. Now that said, there's still a heck of a lot of jobs for C-sharp developers, for Java developers, and for uh, PHP, WordPress, Joomla guys, that kind of thing. So keep that in mind. Python people, there's a lot of work in that. So yes, the old days of designing sites from scratch with HTML and CSS and using Flash, of course Flash is dead, are gone. Those days are very difficult now because everybody's using templates and you should be too. You should start off your work from templates. And guess what? Developers, regardless of the language, whether it be Java, Python, Swift, uh, PHP, everybody is using the essentially what it, templates, essentially templates. When you are using a framework, you are using a template, essentially. When you're using a JavaScript library like jQuery, you're using a template essentially, right? You're using a bunch of package code that speeds up the process. When you're using Bootstrap, you're using essentially a template. So yes, what we did back 10 years ago, 15 years ago, those skills are not nearly as valuable or they're not valuable at all today, just like being an expert typewriter repair guy, repairing typewriters, is not uh, a very lucrative position today. That's the nature of technology, especially now. We're moving more and more quickly uh, in a technology. It's just the nature of, because we have computers and because we work much more quickly, technology evolves more quickly as a result. So you have to be a little bit more nimble than normal. You have to expect to uh, need to adapt with the times. That's why I keep emphasizing in all my courses the basics. Because if you learn the basics of the languages then and the basic best working practices in terms of coding, the best practices in terms of app development, I've talked about this in other videos, these skills transcend all languages, all technologies, and they carry forward. The basic principles that I talk about today, I learned 15, 20 years ago in my Java days. And they still 100% apply today and they're still valuable today. 
So that's why I always emphasize learn your basics. That said, you have to be doing work in technologies that are in demand today. So keep that in mind. You can't be working in Flash, for instance, or 1990s style PHP and expect to get work. And chances are today, unless you're a super special designer with incredible skills, the chance of you getting jobs where you're developing websites from scratch these days is over. So you go to templates. Yeah, you don't make $5,000 a job or $3,000 a job, maybe you make $1,000 a job, but you do the job in a fraction of the time because you're leveraging the templates, because you're leveraging the frameworks. So yeah, the job changes, things change with time, and you have to adapt. But that's the case with most professions these days. It's just the nature of our times. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.